guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be doing a post-credits video for Avengers Infinity War. So, as Infinity War has been out for a few days, I thought it was the right time to make a post credit scene, because the post credit scene was amazing, and it just sets up so much potential for Avengers 4, and also for a new movie that's coming out before Avengers 4 next year, so I'll talk about that in a minute. But if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any Avengers or Marvel videos in the future because I know guys my name is the DC TV show that's what I mainly do I still really really like Marvel and I loved Avengers Infinity War so I'm always gonna make videos whenever I find something that's really really intriguing and uh, this film has so much to talk about so we're going to be talking about the post credit scene so big spoilers I'm gonna actually explain what happens so after the credits we get to see two returning characters that being Maria Hill and also Samuel Jackson's character Nick Fury so it was brilliant seeing them return can I just quickly mention because I absolutely love Samuel Jackson and him dropping that motherfucker was just brilliant that's just his speciality in film and it's just great to see that reference to his film career paying homage to his past and so obviously it gets cut off at the point where he actually disappears like the rest of the Avengers due to the Thanos clicking his fingers and wiping out half of humanity and so also Maria Hill actually vanishes and a few other people around them and as Nick Fury goes to vanish as he realizes he runs over to the car, he gets this device that you can see on the screen right now, and it seems to be a very old-fashioned type communication device, and Captain Marvel's logo actually pops up, so this is massive news. Captain Marvel was confirmed in this film, and obviously we know the next film after Ant-Man and the Wasp is actually Captain Marvel, and she's been played by Brie Larson, so this is awesome news. This confirms she's around at our time, so she's hiding out somewhere, or she's out in space, and that's how he communicates to her. So this is massive news. So we know they've met in the past, Nick Fury and her, they've worked together also along with Coulson, and that's going to be explored in the Captain Marvel film. So that is basically it. So basically what's going to happen is Captain Marvel's going to show up, and then in... Avengers 4, so Avengers Infinity War Part 2, they haven't officially named it that, but you know, it's a continuation basically. She's going to show up and she's going to be helping the Avengers and obviously set things right, get the old Avengers back like Spider-Man, Black Panther, you know, all those different newer characters. And so sh I think she's going to be fighting alongside our old original Avengers and, you know, a few other people, like a few of the Guardians actually survived and a few different people also did. And so that's what's going to be happening in Avengers 4 and it's going to be awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.